Hello everyone. In this video, we continue talking about parabolic interpolation. We will talk about how to implement this method in MATLAB. Let's first see an example. This example is from the textbook. Um, use parabolic interpolation to approximate the minimum of a function fx, and fx is equal to x squared over 10 minus 2 times sine x. The three initial guesses are 0, 1, and 4. And we assume the two epsilon constants are equal, and they are equal to 1 e negative 6. And it, it asks you to write the codes in the main file and also create a separate function file called para.m. You may need this formula for the iteration process, so I just copied the formula here just for your information. Let's first see uh, how to write the main file. So this is the main file. We need to clear all, clear the screen and clear all, close all. We can format long. And uh, we need to write the input parameters for the function paradigm. We need the function and the three initial guesses and two epsilon constants. And also, uh, we need a maximum number of iteration. So we can assume the maximum number of iteration we want to do is 100. 100 is a very reasonable number. If it doesn't converge within 100 iterations, it probably won't converge at all. So let's see. We have the function, which is, we can define it, use at symbol which is um, x squared over 10 minus 2 times sine x. And we have three initial guesses, x1, x2, x3. They are 0, 1, and 4. And the epsilon step is 1 e negative 6 and epsilon abs also equal to 1 e negative 6 and we have the maximum number of iteration which is 100 with those information then we can call the function paradigm which returns the minimum so the minimum is the um we want to find the x value that corresponds to the minimum, not the y value at the minimum. So we call this x min equal to para and the input parameter, which is a function, the three initial guesses, the two epsilon constants, and the maximum number of iteration n. So this is the main file. We can save it and then create another file, which is the function file. So the first line will be the function, the output, and the para, the input parameter. So let's copy the input parameter here. All right, then we can save it as para.m. Okay. All right, so let's see how to write a function file. Because we know that the maximum number of iteration we want to do is n, so we can create a for loop, which is i from 1 to n. And then we can update um, the um, approximate value for the optimum uh, based on the formula. So assume we have x1, x2, x3, then we want to get x4, right? So just use the formula in the slice. So we have x2 minus 1 half, x2 minus 1 half times um, so x2 minus x1 squared times x2 minus x1 
square times um, fx2 minus fx3 fx2 minus fx3 and then minus x2 minus x3 square minus x2 minus x3 square times x fx2 minus fx1 fx2 minus fx1 So then this is should be over x2 minus x1 x2 minus x1 and then times fx2 minus fx3 fx2 minus fx3 and then minus x2 minus x3 minus x2 minus x3 and times fx2 minus fx1 fx2 minus fx1 Here should be a bracket. All right, so this is the formula, and uh, so we updated the approximate value for the um, optimum. And then there are uh, two different scenarios, and um, if it converges, which means the um, absolute value of x four minus x three is less than epsilon uh, step and the absolute value of fx4 minus fx3 is less than epsilon abs and then we can um, return the upper parameter x mean as x four right and we can break so else if we reach the maximum number of iteration then we can send the send the error to the user which says this method does not converge right and this will be the end of the if condition so when we do the loop we need to uh, for the next iteration we need to update so we need to update x1 x2 and x3 right so x1 will be the x2 and the x2 will be um, x we assign the value of x3 to the variable x2 so the new x3 will be the value of x4 right then we can end the for loop so i believe this is the function and let's let's uh, save it and run to see if it works all right so let's see what's x mean mean is one four so let me check the value uh, it's one four two seven five five
Okay, so on the textbook, the value um, it, it, it converges at 1.4276, which is very close to this one, and our value is more accurate because our two epsilon constants are really small. So I think this file works, and um, let's see what are the quiz problems. So in the last, um, when we talk about uh, golden section search, I didn't give you a quiz problem. So this time you will have two quiz problems. And the first one is quiz seven. So this problem is from the textbook. It's 7.19. Um, the trajectory of a ball can be computed with this equation. And where the y, the parameter y is the height, and theta zero is the initial angle in radian, and v zero is the initial velocity, g is the gravitational constant, which is equal to 9.81 meter per second square, and y zero is the initial height. So y zero, v zero, and theta zero is given to you, and it asks you to use a golden section search to determine the maximum height. And I will show you the uh, initial guess. So the initial guess are x x uh, equal to zero and x equal to uh, sixty meter. So we know that the optimum is somewhere between these two values. And we assume that epsilon step is equal to 1e negative 6. OK, so you need to use MATLAB. Um, to, you can write the code in the main file, or you can also uh, create a function file called the golden section m, like we did in the class. All right, so the next quiz problem. Um, consider the following function fx, which is equal to 2 times x plus 3 over x. Um, it, it asks you to perform 10 iterations of parabolic interpolation to locate the minimum and comment on the convergence of your results. The initial guesses are um, 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and 5. So when you comment on the convergence, you can um, uh, guide the uh, two epsilon constants after each iteration to see if it becomes smaller. And uh, for this question, you can write all the codes in the main file, or you can create a separate function file called paradigm, just like we did in the class. All right, um, in the next class, we will talk about a new topic, um, uh, F0.